Well, I think the P2P program, the Pathways to Profession programs, gives pre-service teachers the opportunity to actually engage in embedded professional development. First of all, it gives the students who are in the program a much deeper understanding of what they're going into, and so they're ready. But it also expands the pool of people who might want to be teachers, and I think in this day and age that's an important thing to do. When you're able to bring in novice with season, it's a medley of, of opportunity. So not only are we learning from these young people, they're learning from us. Getting to mingle with other educators it's not doesn't happen that often. And P2P has made that Possible. The beauty of a community is that you grow together, you, you expand together. Um, so as one group learns, the entire community learns. And so I think that is a, a huge part of why P2P is so successful and also why other places around the nation are looking to P2P for the example. Just having everyone in the room, with so many different levels, the pre-service teachers, the teachers that are in the room, the district administrators, the teacher educators, you know, and, and then the higher ed faculty. And so I think having that continual conversation allows for a breadth of ideas that maybe they didn't have before they came in here. Well, I think each of us has an important role and networking is critical. You know, we all come within our own roles within our district with different perspectives and um, strengths and things that we can learn from each other. So the idea that you can put us all at one conference in one room and just have us talk with each other and partner up. You know, I've already met a handful of people that I didn't know prior to the day that I'm going to be reaching out to and working with following this event and hopefully for years to come. It is exciting time at CSU. We invite you to join the Center for Inclusive Excellence as we help build a promising future for teacher diversity and student success.